Hello everyone, welcome back to Cheesy Code. So today we are going to cover something about JavaScript. So the question of the day is, can we have function overloading in JavaScript like we have in C Sharp and other programming languages? We can overload a method just by giving different parameters and different type of parameters. So the question is, we can do it in C Sharp, can we do it in JavaScript? Let's find out. So this is my Chrome developer console. I will give you an example in JavaScript. And for that example, we need to go to sources tab. Here I have created a snippet that is named as function overloading and I have written some code. So here I have this add number method. It expects four parameters and I'm also getting it printed onto my console whenever this method is called. Similarly, I have just copied this function and just changed the number of parameters and the console message. Now what I'm doing is I'm just calling this method with two parameters. Now can you guess? What would be printed onto my console if I run this? So those who don't know the answer, they can say that this one is the first method and whenever I call this method, this one would be called. Some will say that it is expecting two parameters, then only this function would be called. And some would say that this is a compile time error, the code might not work. So let's find out. I'll just click here. So the message that is printed is method with three parameters. So what I got from this, even if I'm calling this method, with only two parameters, it is calling this method, which is expecting three parameters. Now, first of all, the answer to the question that I asked initially, can we have function overloading in JavaScript? The answer is no. And why it is happening? Because in case of JavaScript, browser takes top to down approach. So first the browser reads this particular function. It says add number. It allocates a memory to it. Then it comes down to this method and it checks, okay, this method already exists. It assigns the same memory location to this function now. And when it reaches to this function, it again assigns that particular memory to this function. So ultimately only this function would be alive and these two functions would be discarded by the browser compiler. So in plain words, we cannot have function overloading in JavaScript. Now even if I change the parameters from it, if I just remove these two parameters, even then the last method would be called. The compiler doesn't care about the parameters that we pass. And in case I'm not providing any of the parameters, these three parameters would be passed as undefined. If I pass n number of parameters, even exceeding the number of parameters that these methods are expecting, even then the answer would be same. So I hope the concept is clear. So that's all in this video. We will be coming up with more such videos on JavaScript. Stay tuned to Cheesy Code for more such videos. Thank you for watching.